Hey guys, it's MazeMan112, and today what I'm bringing you guys is a flyover, a quick little run through of all the new maps that just dropped today with the new Vengeance map pack. The first one we're going to go ahead and take a look at is Uplink. Now, you guys are going to go ahead and say, this map looks really, really familiar. As you guys know, if you guys were kind of coming out and anticipating this, this is just a retextured of Summit from Black Ops. What I really like that they're really doing so far with Black Ops 2 that a lot of people are complaining about is how they're repackaging old maps and kind of bringing it to us when we're still paying for it. And I kind of like it. One, they're adding new textures to it. This this map looks absolutely fantastic to me. I don't know if that's just my personal opinion. And also, I like the fact that they're bringing back maps that were most popular in the game's past. If it's not broke, don't fix it. And I really, really appreciate that. And I also appreciate the detail that they have in here. Anywhere from the little routes that you used to take to the gondola that you can still probably jump to. It's really nice that you can use that. I'm wondering if they can you can still jump onto that top tower. I have not tried that. So if you guys already know, leave it in the comment section below and let me know some little, you know, little secret spots. The next map I'm going to go ahead and take a look at is Detour. Now Detour kind of reminds me of Convoy from Black Ops, or I think it might have even been Modern Warfare 3, where you had kind of a broken down. This one is a very narrow map, and it's kind of long. But it doesn't play like a very small map, which it really is. There's a couple different layers to it, but this seems like the one or two games I was actually able to play with this, it was a very slow pace, and it it always seems that way when new maps first come out, people are kind of you know still kind of getting the touch of it, getting the feel of it, getting the lines of sight. So this map actually plays a whole lot larger than it is, and it's very symmetrical. I like the map. You know what? It, to me, it's it's a little plain Jane, a little mint. Looks like kind of maybe a you know a second thought kind of thrown in there but it's still it's a pretty high quality map so far i don't have any issues with it on to the next map this one is cove now a lot of people were saying that this map was just going to be you know basically them knocking off of crisis from black ops but it's not this is actually a tiny island with a little bit of a plane wreck in the middle and so far i love this map there's not a lot of cover at all there's not a lot of elevation which is something that i, I like to bring to a map when you're able to get to, dirt, to different levels to have those different lines of sight and it's really kind of a more of a linear flat type of game but it's very high paced and that's what i really like in maps i love the high paced now the best part about this is i kind of pan out here for you guys is that you're going to see a cruise liner out here in the distance that cruise liner, that's the map hijacked. I think it's really cool that they kind of added a little bit of an Easter egg or something like that. It'd be really cool if you could actually get out there somehow, but you really can't. The last map that I'm going to go ahead and run through is Rush. And as a lot of you guys know, I've been playing a lot of paintball lately, and I'm absolutely falling in love with it. And it's just great. Look, we got a freaking paintball map that's coming into Black Ops 2 now. I like the colors of it. I like the layout of it. You know, I, it's one of those things that like I kind of had said earlier. People always play the maps a little bit different when they first come out just because no one knows where all the traffic's going to be. This one has lots of routes to everywhere, lots of different lines of sight. So it's one of those, it's, it's just like really, really playing paintball. You have no clue where a guy's at and next thing you know, you're getting shot. And uh, it's a fun, exciting map. I love the small. I love the details that they put in this, especially as I kind of go through here into the little speedball room. They actually have all the things like you normally would with speedball. It's really cool. You have banners hanging from the rafters. You have the scoreboard and everything up there. And another thing that they really did and took a lot of, you know, painstaking detail in here, the same thing with the day in the ski shop in Black Ops, is that they did this right here with this pro shop. It's really cool. You have all the paintball markers in the back. You have lots of paint for sale. It seems like they have a ton of mask in here. Really fun, high-paced map. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys leave it in the comment section below. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Spotlight, bitches. Make sure you guys don't hang. Check it out. It is Survival Island Part 2. Don't miss it.